Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim Shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor as due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors be in today. I wish the apostles of Great Millstone blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. No as in the gospel, broad lift them to stand in of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Us, the Akim, Mahalaya, coming back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord, would be edifying. Um, I was watching a few videos, just kind of browsing, and uh, you got a lot of TikTok videos out there that show you. Uh, a lot of civil unrest, a lot of so-called conspiratorial videos, which in fact came out to be true and accurate information. But you have a lot of information coming out on different things, mainly these protests in Australia, Del Rio. Um, you have protests out there in Germany, France. Pretty much the whole world is up in frenzy right now due to uh, certain restrictions and certain things that's being brought forth. Okay, and then you got to ask yourself, the world is pretty much going to hell. But you Americans, you Babylonians, you seem to be in a docile state of mind. It's like you strike. You, you're like the frog that's in a boiling pot. By the time it wants to jump out, it realizes it fucking it burnt to death. And that's you idiots over here in America because I was looking at these protest videos and these guys are going batshit crazy over there, man. Okay? Like the, the, the real stories that they're not covering on CNN, MSNBC, Fox News and stuff like that. You got people that's literally trying to snatch cops out of cruises and beat the hell out of them, man. Okay, and a lot of cops, are, <laughs> they're walking away from the force there. They're retiring. Okay, like you see over here in America, a lot of cops are resigning because they don't want to, you know, uh, uh, be on par with the mandates and stuff like that. So a lot of them are leaving their jobs and getting fired. But it makes a lot of sense on how this whole powder keg of destruction has erupted around the world. And then... You got the pretty much the healthcare system being militarized here in America. So by the time this come here, it's possibly that you can have full fledged troops on the streets, man. Okay, because um, once shit gets too out of hand, because this is what the elites want. They want order out of chaos. They want con they they want compliance, but they want to come in with the chaos method. This is why they're bringing out unreasonable decrees so people can really get pissed off and they can be justifying on taking a level or the, the, the judgment to another level. Okay, so they're going to continue to pass grievous man or laws and so forth to get you people to react out of it so they can already bring in a, the death squads, man. Okay, because uh, when those troops are let loose, whether they be UN or Gurkha troops, part of the United States military, okay, once they release these killers on the streets of Babylon, you, it's, it's gonna all hell is gonna be straight up you live or die you're just gonna get bodied man you know what i'm saying so uh that being said i looked up a couple of videos it says police take down protesters in melbourne as mandatory you know what rules in okay because the uh i don't know if he's the governor or whoever he is i don't know if he's over the health thing but uh but basically uh the dude was basically on a press conference saying they got to like i think october the 11th to make the decision or you know basically they're gonna you know lock people out of society they're gonna start ostracizing them okay which is nothing more but jacornianism you see so uh anyway i did civil unrest and also you got volcano eruptions man like i believe one erupted yesterday or two days ago it says the kali lao uh, volcano eruption update then you got the la palma which erupted about a week ago all right, and these are just different videos of the judge, man. Lord, look, man, this ain't judgment from your how about you, outside. This is not him getting ready to bring this man's kingdom down. All the signs are there, you know what I'm saying? All the signs are there. So, this is very exciting times we're living in. Like, I was meditating on it briefly today. I was like, man, we really finna get up out of here, we're really finna get the kingdom, you know, because in a lot of brothers' minds, it's a reality, but the reality haven't set in yet that we're actually getting ready to go home and be delivered. You see, but we've been broken down so bad in Babylon. We've been beat down so much to the point that the excitement is there. But brothers are so goddamn desensitized to the madness we've been going through because we've been under curses for so long. Brothers are like, damn, we really here. But we're not going to really feel that emotional comfort and that, 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 that adrenaline rush until it actually goes down. Okay, when we can actually see the kingdom and actually know, okay, it's not at hand right now. That's when the anticipation is going to show itself because don't get it twisted. We are anticipating in the spirit. Anticipation is the biggest thing. You know, we are anticipating, but it just that emotion behind it haven't came in yet. 
You know, like when you're getting ready to go on a trip or something, and the, your person like, look, I'll be there in 30 minutes to pick you up. You get excited. Oh, shit. And it's going to get like that real soon, man. So, yeah, man, I'm going to play this video real quick and uh, probably look at a couple of these volcano videos and just go into a couple of presets. But now the spirit was just on me. Like, yeah, man, you know, just pay attention. Look at the signs and fucking volcano eruptions, man. It's crazy. Waters are turning into on a feast of, I believe it was, it wasn't, uh, I believe during the feast of, I want to know, was it the Feast of Tabernacle? No, 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 no. It was during the uh, Day of Atonement. I believe a river over there in the Middle East turned red. I can't recall which one it was, but the scriptures say that the Most High was going to turn the season to blood. All right. So um, anyway, I'm going to play this video. I got like a couple of precepts and then we're going to end it. Police have moved in to stop protesters as they marched around the tan this afternoon. Hundreds of Melbournians enjoying an afternoon picnic, watching on as the chaos unfolded. Police move in fast to tackle and arrest. As anti-lockdown and anti- This is how bad it's getting. This ain't nothing yet. If you get like those videos that people really record from their phones, you'll see people getting the hell beat out of them. All because they're not trying to deal with this shit. And you know what's so shit? It's these people, they got themselves to blame for because you allowed yourself to be totally disarmed. Like these people have a, a arsenal behind them. So how are they able to keep, you know, their defense mechanisms, but yet the people, they can't defend themselves against this. And then you get mad when they fight back, you know, because they want it to be an uneven fight. They want to be in They want to be able to just come in and take everybody down without any opposition. That's how he works, man. You see? And eight protesters are grabbed on the team. Well, these people have the right to defend themselves against they had this been shit. Loud and defiant. <laughs> gathering in the Royal Botanic Gardens before walking the streets and blocking some. <laughs> walking the same path where Demons supporters gathered last Sunday to celebrate without police intervention. Many, many young families are concerned, especially about giving it to our children when we have no long term. Well, I'm going to just leave it there. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get any, have any problems. So I'm going to just leave it there because they probably end up saying something that's going to throw this damn thing off, which they ain't really saying nothing. But you get the point. I just uh, put the link in the description and uh, we'll leave it at that because I ain't got time to fuck around with Esau's bullshit tonight, man. Not over something that's like that. All right. But yeah, this is actually a good channel to subscribe to, 7 News Australia. Alright, so anyway, because they're going to send them death squads out there to start getting the people, man. So this is the book of Ezekiel, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 7, 21 and 7. It says, And it shall be, when thou shalt say unto thee, Wherefore sayest thou, that thou shalt answer? For the tidings, because it cometh that every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble, and every spirit shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water. Okay? Behold, it come and it should be brought to pass, says the Lord Yahweh, okay? Because hey, these people, starting with our people mainly, are getting ready to be put in a state of reality, man. Okay? The world that they once known, they're going to realize that it is not uh, the same place. Okay? The the sweetness that they try to pamper you people up with and butter you down with the soft speeches, you're going to realize that it was all nothing more but a farce. Okay? It was just a farce to get you to drop your guard. Because when Esau falls sore on this society... You're going to know about it, man, because you're going to literally have people getting executed. You see what I'm saying? Like the most high, he saves the best for last. So you think that Australia was bad, please. America got a trip with the people of that. All right. And it says here, and the word of the Lord came to me again, saying, son of man, prophecy and say, thus says the Lord, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished, man. Okay. Who was that sword? Esau. It says it is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Right. Because right now, right, you would think that people are seeing what's happening in the world, Australia, and you would think that they was like, well, that's coming here. But people have this docile mentality like that's not going to come here. Like everybody in Babylon outside of the men of the Lord should be out there protesting and doing what they're supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? Outside of us, because we know that's not our lot. But nonetheless, you would think that people will have, you know, just better faculties to see, like, look, man, that trend is coming over here and it's already here, you know? 
And yet, people are sitting back watching the MTV Awards, man. They watching fucking reality shows. You know, they all on TikTok, Instagram. Just basically wasting their time away while the world is literally burning in front of them. And ain't nobody saying nothing about it. Like, if I ask these nigglets that stay adjacent to me, what's happening in the world? Do you know what's happening in Australia? They can't even answer the question because they, they eyes are so fucking glued on goddamn MSNBC or uh, CNN. That's the only thing they fucking watch is CNN, which that just utter bullshit, man. You know, they ain't giving you the full rundown on what the fuck is going on out of here. Excuse my French. But it just pisses me off on how proud you people are, but how stupid and dumb you really are. Okay? You people in America, I see why you have the lowest IQ on the planet. That's why I said, show then we make Murph. You still got turn, turn up and twerk queens out here trying to turn up. Oh, I'm going on vacation. You're going to be locked the fuck down on that damn FEMA camp in about a year or a couple of months or a few weeks even. Because they're talking about an economic crash this month, man. They've been hitting it there for a while and now they're bringing it out more frequent than ever. Okay, so uh, <laughs> do we then make Murph? Got motherfuckers talking about, oh, I'm finna go out of town. Or oh, I'm finna fly here and I'm going overseas. You ain't going nowhere. But you, you ain't going nowhere but in a fucking FEMA camp, man. All right? That's all the place you going. Because you people that's trying to get the last five minutes of comfort out of this place, you're going to be the ones that they're going to be popping the top two when you realize how stupid you were. You see? And it says here, it contemned the rod of my son as every tree. And he given it to be furbished that it may be handled and the sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give into the hands of the slayer. Okay, who was the slayer? Esau, Edom. Okay, who the Most High is orchestrating through the left-hand side. And it says, so cry and howl, son of man, for it should be upon my people, which are the Israelites. It should be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. Okay, so hey man, the Most High is going to create a sore slaughter in the land of America real soon because like we were saying yesterday, in a couple of months here, man, this is going to be a whole different world. It's a whole different world from what it was a year and a half ago, but in a couple of months here, you're going to see because now they're talking about social credit scores, you know what I'm saying, digital dollar wallets, etc. Like they're slowly going into from this, 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 they're going into this digital age, man. Like they got smart fucking keys, like the new apartments they're building up, like down, like downtown and like those big developments they putting up, those nice little apartments. Basically, it's like an RFID pass you have to go to get in the damn house, man. It's not even a physical key. You know what I'm saying? It's basically a, a reader and it reads it and comes in. Same thing, they got smart washers, smart dryers, smart refrigerators. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing is really physical anymore. It's, it's all digitally based. And why are they doing that? Because it's ultimate control. Okay, so um, anyway, looking at these volcanoes, etc. This is a La Palma volcano. This was about a week ago. They said the eruptions could last for a few months. So let's see this. Those are the angels getting down with that, man. Those are the angels, the most highest line of the angels to get busy and do their thing. What is it? Come on. Click on this. I've been using Remetly Damn, for a few months now and I'm extremely satisfied with their services. YouTube didn't used to be like this. The new eruption of Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island continues and the reactivated lava lake in the summit crater is slowly rising. All activity remains confined to the summit within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Scientists with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory are tracking the activity and took to the sky on Thursday for a bird's eye view of the eruption. 
As of Friday, lava continues to erupt from... Kind of scrolling through it real quick. At this time, there is no threat yeah, of lava man, in it. All the information here, it says it blows open a new vent. There's a lot of, a lot of activity. Then the cherries are popping, are sighting more often. It's going to get real out here, man. All right, so this is the book of uh, Nahum 1 and 5. It says, The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence, and yea, the world, all that dwell therein. Okay, so also that's going into when the missiles happen, but before the missiles drop, it was, it was foretold that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that was going to bring judgments by fire and various methods on the planet to punish the people and to show the signs of the Lord return being nigh. All right, Luke 12 and 49. And it reads here, and it says, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what would I if it already be kindled, okay? And it's several scriptures that's on volcano eruptions and hills being on fire, all right? Uh, second Edges 16 is a good one too, but this is my last precept, Second Edges 9, and I'm going to start at 1. It says, and he answered me and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I've told thee before. So we're measuring the time. How are we doing that? By doing the videos, by watching the news, watching the prophecies, man. You know, praying, asking the Lord for more understanding. You know, I mean, can nothing get past us, man? Okay, because what we don't see, the angels see. And in act, the angels are acting knowing the words of the prophets, man. Because when we speak the things, the angels are able to bring them forth through the word of the Most High, which is the prophets. Okay, and it says here, And thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit a world which he made. All right. It says when you should see earthquakes and volcano eruptions, consider earthquakes too, according to the scriptures. You know, it says here, and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt very well understand that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay? For it's like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. Ending in effects and signs, okay, from chariot sightings to cosmic activities to volcano eruptions, from earthquakes to uh, uh, waters to turn into blood, riots, protests, from different mandates, from draconian laws, from seeing the military build up, family coming against one another, pestilence, all these things are in play. Blood moons, solar eclipses, okay, nuclear winters, and the list goes on. But anyway, brothers and sisters, I'm gonna end it there. All praises and glory under this duty. How about Shimi? How was shy? Shalom, Baba, Baba, Lord, will you edify? Shalom.